Friday, so Georgia loses the first game of the year in Las Vegas. They lose to Oregon. As you see, obviously, the stat track is not correct. It says Georgia 82, Oregon 71. That's not true. The final score was Oregon 82, Georgia 71. Um... There's a lot. There's a there's some good things and bad things about the game. Um, first, we'll just get the leading points. Um, Jabri Abdul Rahim was Georgia's leading scorer. He had 18 points. R.J. Madares had 12 points. Blue Kane had 12 points. Um, a lot of individual good games. Is here's the points right here. Noah Thompson had six points. Celias so Damari Jr. had eight points. He is going to be a dude you're going to have to watch out for with this Georgia team. Um, Big Russ had five points. Blue Kane had 12 points, and Justin Hill had nine points. Um, Jalen DeLoach had one point, and that's really all the scoring for, for the dogs. Um, we'll just start with the obvious. The first half cost Georgia a very bad. I mean, um, starting out slow like they did. Um, it was bound to happen. Um, I don't know, man. This is a heartbreaking loss for the dogs. Um, if these stats are wrong, I'll be corrected, but the stat track is kind of messed up right now. Georgia shot 22 for 65, 33%. Um... Got out rebounded 63 to 41. There was only one lead change in the game, and it's when Georgia was up one to nothing. That's the only time the dogs led. And then after that, it went right back to Oregon. Um, uh, that's 16 turnovers for the dogs, 22 bitch points, four blocks. Um, Points in the paint. Oregon had 48. Georgia had 20. Um, that's... When you get out to a start like Georgia did in the first half. And look, man, I am so proud of this team. They fought back in the second half. Um, but, man, when you dig a hole like they dug, it's just impossible to... To try to come back from that. And, I mean... Look, we still got 30 games left, but this one... And, and it might not even matter. This game might not even matter in the grand scheme of things. Georgia might go 30-1, and one, right? And then, you know, that or loss against Oregon don't matter. But it sure hurts right now. And it will hurt for a little while. Um, you just... Um, definitely, definitely... Or heartbreaking loss. And I hate this thing, man. The stat track and stuff is so weird. Everything on it is wrong. But, um, and at the end, Oregon ends up outscoring Georgia 41 to 42 at the end of the second half. Um, here you go. Here's the first half nine for 33. That's why you're in the problem you were in at halftime. Uh, turnovers should be interesting. Let's see turnovers at the end of the first half. Nine. Um, and you know what, man? GG to Oregon. I mean, I talked a bunch of crap since June. And I'm not going, obviously not going nowhere. So I'm going to stay here and I'll eat my crow. Because I truly, when this game was announced, I said Georgia had a great chance to win this game. And... In all honesty, I mean, I hate to be this kind of guy. Oregon gave Georgia chance after chance. The Oregon would go down a stretch just four or five minutes. They would miss shots. But what would Georgia do? Miss shots. The, it was just an endless cycle of, of, it was an endless cycle of missing. Like, nobody got nothing going. Uh, Georgia tried, but, dude, there's not much you could do when, there's not much you could do when you're missing shots. Um... Good things, though, is, in, and I'll take moral victories, Blue Kane and, um, Blue Kane and Celias Damari Jr. played a great game. Um, I'm really, really ready to see these guys continue. RJ Madera has played a great game, too. 
But um, I mean, you we you just turn the ball over consistently. Do when you just when you just struggle in basketball, you're gonna have good days and bad days. And today for Georgia, obviously, was a bad day. Um, there's no sugarcoating it. We're not even gonna try to sugarcoat it. Georgia's next game will be against Wake Forest Saturday, uh, Friday at seven o'clock. Busy weekend for just not Georgia basketball. The Lady Dogs are about to tip off right now. Um, Georgia's football team takes on Ole Miss in what should probably be a top 10 matchup if they decide to add Ole Miss in the top 10. I don't know if they were. Or not. I thought they were about 12th or 15th or something like that. But um, but then basketball, we got Wake Forest Saturday, um, Sunday, North Carolina Central. And then it's off to the Bahamas. I feel horrible about that trip now because if Georgia played on April in the first half, Georgia is going to die against Miami and probably be resurrected and die again versus uh, Kansas State or Providence. They show Georgia's next five games, so Wake Forest is very winnable. You better beat Winthrop in North Carolina Central, and Florida State's a toss-up right now. Then you got Miami and Providence in there. Um, that could be a game where, I mean, Georgia and Florida State, uh, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to lose to Florida State, but I would rather beat Miami than beat Florida State. They play in football this week, which is always interesting. That is a historic rival going back to the '80s. But basketball final score: Georgia seventy-one, the Oregon Ducks eighty-two. Um, just final thoughts, I guess. Is first game of the year. It's going to happen. I mean, I always love to go back when people say this stuff. I love to go back. The Braves didn't win the first game in 2021. I mean, they were awful until August, but look what happened. They won the, the World Series. So, you know, I'm not there comparing the Braves to, to the Dogs, but, I mean, you know, hey, we might be able to come back and do something. I hope we beat Wake Forest. I ain't going nowhere, so I'm going to be talking my crap to Wake Forest people, and I'm sure they're going to be giving it back. But, I mean, it's games like these that just, God, it just... It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. These kids deserve so better. They played amazing in that second half. They almost rallied and came back, but Oregon's too good at the end. Oregon's only missed a tournament twice or four times. Under, it's either two or three times under Dana Altman. Dana Altman's a really good coach, but I mean... Yeah, that's where we stand now. The, dog, the Hoop Dogs are 0-1 of the season. Next game will be Friday at 7 o'clock versus the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. They have played quite a few times, the most notable being the 1999 meeting in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, where Aiden Jones hit a fade-back free to win. But once again, your final score is Georgia 71, Oregon 82. Uh, Georgia will be back at it Friday.